More forever chemicals, known as PFAS, continue to be found throughout Spokane County. The Department of Ecology is blaming newly discovered PFAS found in Airway Heights on the Spokane International Airport. The airport is rejecting these findings, saying the Department of Ecology is in no position to confirm them. Jordan Smith is live in studio now to walk us through these findings and what the airport is saying. Well, these chemicals are known for their hazardous effects in humans and their lasting effect here in the ecosystem, which is why these claims are so significant. On your screen now are the documents in which the DOE outlines their findings around the airport. These were published back in July. They marked multiple areas surrounding the airport where these chemicals were found. And among other causes, these findings suggest that the impacted areas are linked to the past use of firefighting foam that is known to contain PFAS. It's unwelcome news to the families who live in the area, already dealing with the aftermath of these chemicals from the Fairchild Air Force Base. We're triangulated by this contamination by this poison. I mean, I look at this beautiful place that I live and this contamination is barreling towards the river and further contaminating private well owners, homesteads, agriculture, animals, and people. And in a response obtained by 4 News Now today, the airport rejected the claims that it is responsible for the PFAS, suggesting it was likely the cause of the Air For or the Fairchild rather Air Force Base. And they've asked the Ecology Department to remove the airport-related PFAS information from their website until both parties have had a chance to meet face-to-face -to, -face to discuss the next steps they should take together. And coming up on Nightside tonight, we'll take a deeper dive into these findings. Plus, we'll hear more from Michelle and the efforts that she's taking to stand up for the community members who have been impacted by these chemicals. In studio tonight, Jordan Smith, 4 News Now.